Hi, my name is Sherry Hunt. I'm the art teacher here at Living Well Cancer Resource Center in Geneva, Illinois. I am going to talk about neurographic art today. It is a way of drawing that recreates the outer from the inner. The world is a reflection of beliefs we hold. It allows you to transform one stress and fear by drawing freeform lines and creating a beautiful piece of art while distressing. So what you're going to need for this project is a paper of any kind. I'm going to today use a, a big piece just so you can see it, but it can be a photo paper, it could be an index card, it could be anything that you have at home for even a post-it for um, something that you have in your purse, right? It's all about de-stressing and um, just kind of reducing our anxiety that we have. The first thing that I want you to do is really kind of um, think of one thought. Is it a fear? Is it a challenge? Is it just the word peace? Is it uncertainty of something or discomfort that you're finding something in right now? Is it setting a boundary? What does that boundary look like? And I want you to write it down on the back of your paper. As you write that down, you're just gonna go ahead and flip it. You're gonna just take a Sharpie marker. I usually use a chisel, but there's all sorts of kinds. There's just the fine point and then the ultra fine point. So these are three really great um, pen sizes to use. I like the idea of using a permanent marker first because if I add any other mixed media to it, it is permanent and will not bleed. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to make it kind of a, a tangle, we're gonna take our line for a little walk. So you're just really going to use up your whole piece of paper. You're just gonna fill up our page and I'm gonna have any loose end just go right off the page. Okay, anywhere where we have an intersection of lines, we are going to round that out with our pen. So I'm gonna just do that. And this is the part that really gets to be nice. If I go nice and slow, I'm not gonna have any bumps in my pens. I'm just gonna round out those edges. And this is the part that really gets meditative. I can get a cup of tea, light a candle, and really just fall into this. Sometimes if we have neuropathy or arthritis, our hands might be a little shaky that we might have a little lines that bump out. Don't be too hard on yourself and don't worry about that. You can always go back with a bigger marker and just slowly kind of clean up your line. The idea is to not go fast, just go slow. The wind down of your mind. I tend to use a little bit bigger um, marker for all of this just for you, but you can use an, um, a regular Sharpie too, does not matter. Depending on your piece of paper, um, you can use a little bit bigger one. And with this marker too, I've got a great point that I could create a thin line, but then also with the chisel, I can fill in any bumps in the row that I have. So I'm gonna just do that, I'm gonna continue on. It's kind of a nice thing too, if I do have some white spaces, I can take a cup, if I'm drinking a hot cup of tea, I can take my cup and go ahead and create circles right on top of it. So if I wanna add just a little bit of dimension, it's really awesome what it looks like. When you have circles on there, it tends to look a little botanical and I love lotus pods, they're my favorite. You can use any size if you want. If you're not very fond of circles, you can use triangles or squares, any shape that you can trace whether it's with a stencil or something like that. This one's just a little free flow and that's awesome. It can just be out on its own or you can connect it by just that with a line. So all of these are going to be rounded out. Your edge too, you're gonna to wanna to take your edge afterwards and do a nice black line to give it a little frame around. Okay, so it's gonna kind of have that and then your lines will go right into that. If they go off the page, you can kind of have that be a little bit thicker. So it's just a nice little transition off the page. Variety in line, I think is really nice, thin to thick. Um, and I have had some people just, you know, whether it's quick, they wanna get it done and they'll just do this and they're done and I'm finished, but that's not really rounding out. That's almost like bloating, right? So we want to kind of curve in like that, creating a little corner than our edges, okay? And if we do do a line, um, say if we have someone that just did, uh, let's say I'll get a line like 
like that and did it, you really need this and this to really kind of go into the shape and that's the part where it's meditative and relaxing and just with some soft music, it's amazing how it just brings down your stress and lowers that anxiety. I'm gonna show you some pages that I have finished, um, this being the beginning and then look at here, after I round out all my edges, how it turns out to be. It's amazing, it really turns out almost to be um, like a segment of fruit, a pomegranate, um, a lot of it might even turn into a lotus pod. It's really, really awesome. Like I said, what you wanna do when you finish your whole paper is finish off your edge with a nice black line, and then two, if you want to, you can take a thin pen and just make some lines. They tend to look like um, brain cells and neurons too when you do that. And like I said, the lotus pod, um, adding circles within. So if I just have a circle like this, I can go ahead and um, you know add some little circles like that. I can make big ones, whatever I want. And then the space behind it, the negative space, I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. So it just looks like a piece of, um, like a lotus pod, which is great. Okay, so you would fill in that whole space. If you did wanna make lines, I would probably take a thinner marker. And to do that, you wanna just start at that one line and finish at the one line. So you'll have that really thick kind of shaded area, always because you're always starting at the same place each time and ending at the same time. So it really almost looks like an onion skin, right? The layers of it, it's awesome. So I'm gonna show you some different things that um, this is done just with a different color. So it doesn't always have to be in black. You can use it um, just a starting color, it can be a different one. Um, you can also add uh, watercolor to it afterwards. That's why it's so important to use the permanent marker. Um, and then this actually has, it had a lot of green on it. So I just took a little paper towel and blot it. And then it actually gave a really great texture. I can always add a little bit of line with a little bit more doodle if I want and push it a little bit farther. Here's the one that is, um, I thought of a tree kind of where my roots are and then blossoming and then just adding um, marker inside of it and then adding some more doodles in the negative space. It's a nice way of um, just kind of thinking how we were talking about letting go of something or growing, thinking of a shape that might help you do that. I did a class where we did a mandala. If you start with a mandala, you can make your repeated circles like this. And then you're just gonna ray out with those wavy lines and then kind of fill it in. So this again is just working in to outer and really filling it in, but rounding out, just like I talked about anywhere, place where there's a crossover, um, you would do that too. And again, take the black marker and kind of um, do a frame around it. I love the idea too of just having the same color, gray on gray value, um, really nice. It's just kind of a calming thing rather than picking colors and trying to figure out what color to use, just use one or two. Here's one that just has a um, little ink spray as the background and then I did a um, marker over it. So if you've got some papers at home that you just are stacked up, you don't know what to do with, it can be a nice way of um, filling up some of those papers and cutting them up and making them into gift cards. There's another way too, if you've got magazines at home, this is done just with a prairie picture. And I took the in-between and did the uh, little drawing inside. So I would just take my pen and do the same thing with the tangle and kind of create a nice little, they almost look like sticks or praying mantis. And then I'm gonna go ahead and where, anywhere where I have the crossing of the lines, the intersection, I'm gonna go ahead and round those out. I love that idea of mixing the prairie um, picture with the neurographica. Here's a great one to start off with. If I wanted to do a kind of a mandala mixing with a magazine, I can do this let this be already spoken for, and then I can kind of have my lines come out from the center and kind of create a mandala. When you do a mandala, you always wanna work from the inner to the out, breathing and thinking about something you wanna let go of. And I 
love trees and nature. I can cut this up and make this just be maybe even a um, card for someone. Anywhere where there is that little intersection, I'm gonna go ahead and really round that out. And then with the mandala, you'll have some spaces in between. If I wanted to fill those little spaces with doodles, I can do the same thing, but it has that nature um, element with the tree behind it. I can even go and kind of fill in between the branches and kind of keep going a little bit. So it's almost like a peekaboo, like what's under there? And then a great conversation piece to know that it is a tree and how nature and art heal us from within. I'm gonna just show you um, one more little thing. I talked about photo paper. This is a great way to, um, everyone's got photo paper at home. This is a great way and I love the idea that it's shiny, filling this in with permanent marker, letting it dry, always putting your initials and the year on it, and then taking a note card and putting this on a note card and sending it to someone as um, a holiday card or a birthday or a thank you and then they could always peel this off or if they have an um you know the card it can stand as a permanent piece of art it's a great way to share yourself and spread joy to someone else i'm going to show you one more thing this was done with um, watercolor it was actually just a line the tangle that i did and then i filled it in i actually had a little bit of saran wrap i talked about the paper towel here to give texture this is saran wrap up on my watercolor, creating some really awesome texture. Paper towel in the back, letting that dry. And then I added some white uh, gel pen to just kind of embellish a little bit and add some fun shapes, pull out my circles. And it actually ended up turning into a butterfly. So here's my um, head, the antenna. And so sometimes you don't even know what it's going to turn out to be. And that's the most fun about art. So enjoy Neurographica. It is awesome. It's a great way to do um, something if it's, ah, it's going to snow this weekend. So maybe you guys could just get paper, coffee table, um, kitchen table, surround yourself with um, some hot chocolate or whatever you want. Get a pen and paper and everybody do it. It's a great project for yourself or for your family. Enjoy everybody. Take care.